Hi, this is Roger in Finland and today we're going to take a look at how to use the Trim Edit functionality in DaVinci Resolve. The main reason for doing this video is that using Trim Edit might not be totally intuitive if you're just used of using the normal selection, but I think there are some use cases where it becomes very useful. Let's take a look. This Trim Edit is an edit mode that can be activated either by pressing the letter T in your keyboard or by clicking this toggle here. It does change the behavior of the handles at the beginning and end of a clip in your timeline and also when you click and drag on top of a clip in your timeline. So first let's quickly check through what happens if you do not have this mode enabled. So now I'm just going to select the arrow which is the basic selection mode and let's see what happens. If I click on a handle like this and you can see now that the icon changes when I get close to the edge of the clip. Now I will be manipulating the handle if I pull it, it makes the clip shorter or longer. If I pull it to the other direction, it will actually override the other clip. And same thing with the handle on the other end of the clip. Now I'm making it shorter and here I'm stepping over something else so it's overriding the other clip. If I click and hold on top of the clip and drag it around, I can move it between different tracks and I can move in within the track, again, either overriding other clips or not overriding if I move it to different tracks, but it moves the full clip along the timeline. Now let's activate the trim mode. Now, if I drag a handle, the clip will get shorter as well, but see what happens with the rest of the timeline. The rest of the timeline follows. Same here. It's kind of sticky. To this particular clip. So if you're shortening things and then you don't want to do the delete gaps later, this is a useful thing to do. Then the question is what happens then if I click and drag? You can see that I don't have the normal arrow, I have this different icon. So if now I click and drag, what I'm doing is dragging the full source of this clip along this particular cut. So effectively, I'm moving the in and out points forward or backward, depending on the direction where I'm dragging. So when would I use this trim edit instead of the normal selection mode? In the cases that I have a clip that it has to be this length because let's say that it's edited to the beat of the music, for instance, but I'm not totally happy with the beginning and the end doesn't matter so much, I would drag this bit and put the beginning in a place that I would like it more, like this. Now I'm happy with this one. I kept exactly the same size of the clip. I moved a little bit the beginning. And of course I would have to check that the audio, whatever I was talking here, it's still being set in the end and the message gets through, but I keep the size of the clip and I have moved what is the starting and end point without moving anything else in the timeline. The other reason why I like to use this edit mode is when I want to make some clips a little bit shorter or longer, but I don't want to leave gaps or I don't want to have to deal with gaps later. So for instance, here precisely, let me zoom in a little bit. I can see that this bit is a silent one, which I was probably thinking, what should I be saying next? So here I want to take this away and I don't want to have to go, select, cut, delete or whatever. Just want to drag this bit and bring it up to when I start talking and that's right there that to me the two most common use cases for me for making these talking head videos of using the trim edit instead of the selection tool all right and now that you know how to use the trim edit functionality hopefully you find this video useful and helpful if you did please like and subscribe and we're gonna see you soon for some more content